Hey guys, uh, Steve here of the Fitness Hub and uh, today I just want to do a quick video of a pair of trainers uh, that I use for training in and sometimes running in. And so first off I'll show you my pair. Um, I got the uh, KSOs the, and the, that stands for keep stuff out and um, that basically means instead of being like some others they have this bit of meshing here and they also have this strap to keep it on your foot and uh, as you can see like extremely flexible roll up into a ball like that no issue uh, really durable loads of grip on there um, I've had these for a long time they have still got all the like a load of grip on there and everything and uh, when you order these you simply um, measure your foot against like a hard wall uh, measure how many inches it is and then they have like a converter of those inches to what size you're going to be so uh, I normally wear a size uh, 9 or 10 shoe depending on how big it is like converse size 9 and in these I was an 8 so that goes to show you um, it's like measured exactly to your foot as for the toe pockets I know people have like people say um, well, if you have big toes, small toes, are they going to fit in these generic pockets? I find all my toes fit in really easy in these pockets, apart from my little toe just comes like not all the way. You can see my feet are quite flexible in them. Really nice, solid shoe. I uh, also noticed wearing them a few times, my calves really ached and I definitely felt the muscles being used and like my feet ached a bit. And just because you can feel the muscles being used, and it was just a really nice feeling, felt fresh, felt quick, um, really liked them, love them for deadlifting, squatting, uh, they're super good for that, um, with squats it's like being a barefoot but you get the added addition of having grip and then deadlifts, I mean the closer you are to the ground the better, more solid foot positioning, it's really nice. And then just jumping around in general, <laughs> I don't know, there's... I actually did some research on these shoes and uh, found that PubMed actually did a review of uh, several different studies and uh, did a review of all of so They found that barefoot running or minimalistic shoe running, such as wearing these Vibrams, uh, may be an acceptable training method for athletes who uh, understand how to minimise the risks. And I'll come on to that uh, in a minute. However, there hasn't been any studies that shows that heel striking, which is principally what you do when you wear um, like running trainers, just general ones, uh, causes any more injuries than forefoot running, which is more what you do when you wear the Vibram. So uh, just to show you what that might look like, uh, that's how you try and run maybe in Vibrams, whereas when you're wearing padded heels, uh, general training, you might go like this. So when you're wearing one of these, you're probably going to run like that, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. Whereas uh, you really want to be running toe first or straight, just flat. Uh, so it's this this cushioning that's really protecting. No, that's why you're not getting damage. If you ran on your heels in uh, the Vibrams, you get uh, you definitely feel some pain there. Uh, you wouldn't be able to run on your heel. Um, the impact that you feel would be far too harsh. My number one tip is just take it slowly. Don't go from, if you're doing 10 mile runs, uh, don't go into these thinking I can do a 10 mile run because you'll pick up an injury and you'll regret it straight away. And also if you do pick up an injury, um, just take a break if your feet ache loads after wearing them take a break um, and then once you have had them for a while then you can just wear them all the time <laughs> and it's great